Ayalai Foundation was born out of the passion of its founders, Strive and Sisima Siwa, with a vision to provide a platform for people to fulfill their God-given purpose. For nearly two decades, the passion to improve lives was delivered through four trusts that focused on different needs in the community. Starting with Kapenam Trust in 1996, the trust handled scholarships for orphaned children. Then through the Josh Kongomo Scholarship Fund in 2005, the work grew and started supporting talented and gifted young people. The National Healthcare Trust responded to national health crises, while the Christian Community Partnership Trust pushed community evangelism and pastoral care. Dreams were realized, faces held smiles, and leaders were born. In September of 2015, following a rigorous five-month strategy review and new strategy articulation effort, at the execution conference, with all our staff in one room, we made the leap together. The four different trusts officially integrated into one lean organization, and Higher Life zeroed in on one mission, to invest in Africa's future through education. We have already started seeing our impact and effectiveness grow. The desire to see education fashion and form the leaders of tomorrow was something we have all rallied behind. We participated at the Education Expo to reinforce our new direction. A new learning hub was launched at Mpambe Primary School in Binga to increase our reach and set the pace as a model to roll out to other schools. Building partnerships has also begun to scale our work. We've engaged at forums and conferences across the continent and have just announced a $1.6 million partnership with the prestigious Yale University that will take 900 talented African students to American universities. Higher Life Foundation and Yale University felt that there was no better platform to announce our just signed partnership program than at this special gathering of philanthropists on African soil. Through a three-year partnership worth a modest amount of, uh, of money, $1.6 million, we will upscale the Yale Young Scholars uh, Program, which is a, a, a program that was initiated by Yale in 2014. The program is a vehicle through which young, academically gifted African students will gain access to universities all across the United States. By the end of the three years, 900 students from the African continent will have gone through this unique program. Our goal is that at the end of this phase of the project, all 900 of the students will be fully equipped, nurtured, trained, and will be able to be in a position to successfully complete their four-year college education in the US. Although education is now our primary focus, Higher Life still responds to crisis initiatives, especially when it comes to AIDS, orphans, and fighting vicious diseases that affect the next generation of the communities we are adopting. We have participated at conferences that seek to eradicate disease. Higher Life Foundation's new focus is investing in Africa's future through educating the next generation. It's a battle worth fighting. The lives we help build will change our continent. Orphaned and vulnerable children will now have the funding to learn through a new revamped Kapenam scholarship. The gifted and talented students will reach their dreams through the Joshua Ngomo scholarship. The effectiveness, will and impact of higher life will scale with technology. Our online e-learning platform called Rizio will take away the barrier of distance and it seeks to become the biggest online school in Africa. Our digital learning hubs are being planted in different communities and are reaching at least 246,000 children annually. With this streamlined focus on education, our pace has accelerated and we are bringing the children with us. My name is Prince Abudu. I'm a fourth year computer science student in Moas College in Atlanta, Georgia. And I recall that three years ago in 2012, I was studying uh, at Kutama College and um, things were quite tough and you know being a brilliant student but also an orphaned uh, kid couldn't pay much fees for myself so I was recommended to the High Life Foundation with the deputy head at my school at that time. So this is when High Life came into my life and 
um, actually put me on a scholarship, the Andrew Young Scholarship Fund that Dr. Strive Masi was started to go to Moas College. And basically this was a, a stepping stone for me because it opened up many doors and opportunities for me to be where I am today. And uh, you know, throughout all the work that the High Life has done, you know, building that spiritual foundation in me, as well as sponsoring my school in the U.S. Uh, today, you know, I'm a Rhodes Scholar and uh, without the High Life's work, uh, I wouldn't be here because I'll probably be somewhere, you know, uh, in the country where I wouldn't really fulfill my dreams and dream big. So High Life has helped me, you know, to kind of uh, get out of my zone and actually exceed my limitations and go beyond them and actually achieve greatness today. So I'm really thankful for High Life's work and the work that it has started in me as I go to the University of Oxford to study computer science. Um, this, is, this is just the beginning. Alumni Audrey Munashi Mugodlio is currently employed at Facebook, and Alumuzi Mshanga, who did his undergrad at Harvard, is currently doing his MBA at Oxford. There are more history makers out there, and we are just getting started. <laughs>